Hello everyone, and welcome to a new episode of the Virtual Lab series of video blog presentations on various diverse scientific computing topics. As you can see here, the title of today's presentation is on the topic of the design and discovery of novel catalyst materials with high performance levels for use in energy generation and storage devices through the implementation of methods based on artificial intelligence techniques. This presentation is provided by Virtual Lab, the company behind the development of the Materials Square online platform. Materials Square is entirely dedicated to assisting and encouraging researchers from across the world to perform atomistic computational simulations on a wide range of materials science and molecular chemical modeling applications directly via our integrated powerful cloud computing resources. Being entirely online based, and executable via any basic web browser interface on any device with internet access, the Materials Square platform makes it possible to execute such complex simulations and calculations without the need to install any complicated scientific code locally on your machine, and without the need to have expensive supercomputing clusters at your immediate disposal. Our supported atomistic simulation functionalities and solutions are mainly based on well-established scientific computational techniques, such as density functional theory and classical molecular dynamics, and have a very broad range of useful applications in computational chemistry and materials science R&D, which are thus ideally suited for both industrial and academic users from around the globe. We invite our viewers to please consult our products and services offered via the Materials Square platform by visiting its corresponding website, which is www.matsku.com, as noted also in the video description below. So, let us begin our main scientific presentation of today. Computational methods in materials science, based on various approaches such as quantum mechanics, classical mechanics, statistical physics, etc., are becoming increasingly accurate and reliable thanks to advancements in both the amount of available computing power, as well as improvements in the theoretical foundations of the methods themselves, coupled with their algorithmic implementations. All this is greatly facilitating and accelerating the process of discovery of novel material structures with interesting physical and chemical properties which is in turn leading to the accumulation of large amounts of materials science-related data. More recently, the growth and development of such materials databases has paved the way for the advent of entirely new computational strategies for the design and discovery of new materials, this time based exclusively on statistical approaches revolving around the use of artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep learning and data mining techniques. Such data-driven methods can further complement and extend the efforts made and the information gathered with physics-based first principles simulations, such as density functional theory and classical molecular dynamics, while proving to be significantly less computationally demanding for scanning a given configurational space of possible material structures. The origins of AI-based computational techniques can be traced back to the mid-1990s, but it is really over the last decade or so that tremendous progress and user adoption expansion has been achieved in all branches of science, engineering, software development as well as web-based technology. Nowadays, the uptake of data science and AI methods is encountered everywhere in society and in virtually all sectors of the modern digital economy, from financial services and telecommunications to the transportation and healthcare industry. Just to cite some examples. When considering its applications in scientific computing R&D, such as in materials design and discovery, AI and big data-based approaches are often described as the so-called fourth paradigm. This designation can be understood by putting it in context with the other three of such paradigms. The first paradigm consists in designing and conceiving new materials experimentally via a traditional trial and error approach referred to as the Edisonian approach in relation to the famous discovery of the light bulb by Thomas Edison, which proceeded very much with such experimental tentative approach. In addition, the second paradigm refers to methods based on the classical laws of thermodynamics before the advent of large-scale computational resources. This is in turn followed by the third paradigm, which is itself based on the results of physics-based computational science simulations, 
such as implemented in DFD and classical MD methods. This said, the fourth paradigm for developing new and promising materials based on artificial intelligence and big data resources will be the focus of our presentation today. In general, by developing an artificial intelligence model based on existing big data and the availability of scientific databases, we can better identify correlations between such data and the physical properties of new hypothetical materials for instance, thus paving the way for the prediction and design of high-performance materials with certain specific desirable characteristics. Such AI and data-driven approach towards novel materials discovery can consequently greatly accelerate the rate of screening of potential candidate material structures and compositions with the best performing predicted properties, thus optimizing the speed and efficiency of the ensuing laboratory material synthesis experiments by concentrating them to only the most promising of such candidate materials. As mentioned earlier, the success and reliability of AI-driven materials research approaches depends largely on the quality and quantity of the pre-existing information and databases on materials properties, constituting our starting dataset for the training of our predictive AI model. Such materials properties databases may consist in either data obtained experimentally or via high-throughput first principles calculations, or a combination of both. Notables examples of experimental databases, comprising only experimentally verified crystal structures, are the Cambridge Crystallographic Data Center, or CCDC, and the Inorganic Crystal Structure Database, or ICSD. On the other hand, databases derived from first principles computations, such as high-throughput DFT studies, may also contain hypothetical predicted structures, which have not yet been synthesized experimentally. Some of the best established of such high-throughput first principles computational materials databases, each comprising hundreds of thousands of computed material structures and associated physical and chemical properties, are shown in the slide and include the Open Quantum Materials Database, or OQMD, the Materials Project, the Nomad Database and the Aflow Database. The viewer is referred to the websites of each of these materials database projects for obtaining further information and for exploring their functionalities, capabilities, and stored information. Let us now briefly review some of the most commonly employed AI techniques in computational material science at a basic and qualitative level. One of such common techniques is the so-called graph-based prediction of material properties. In recent times, Graph-based neural networks have emerged among the various artificial intelligence strategies as a highly efficient approach to predict individual behaviors in extended social networks. Within this method, the connectivity of each node is carefully characterized in order to increase the AI prediction accuracy. To draw an analogy with the lattice of a crystal structure, one can think of atomic bonding as representing the connectivity of a graph which thus means that most lattice structures can be well designated under graph theory. Hence, if the lattice structure is represented as a graph and the corresponding atomic information is inserted in the model as input parameters, one can get great insight and make useful predictions on the structure property relations of the material under investigation. Let us now briefly describe one popular graph-based method for the prediction of crystal structures and their associated physical properties, known as the Crystal Graph Convolutional Neural Network, or CGCNN. This is a graph-based neural network that is capable of predicting the physical properties of the bulk state of materials, formulated originally by Professor Jeffrey Grossman of the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. By introducing the concept of the graph of a crystal structure, through the flexible encoding of the lattice structure information of the material, this CGCNN method has proven to provide highly accurate learning of the structure property relations of bulk materials. The CGCNN technique uses about 70,000 datasets provided by the Materials Project database mentioned previously for training the resulting neural network. In this way, the most basic bulk state properties of materials, such as the formation energy, absolute energy, band gap, Fermi energy, bulk modulus, shear modulus, and Poisson ratio, can be predicted for new material structures and compositions based on this original training dataset. 
As a result, it was shown that the accuracy of predicting the physical properties of new material was very high, thus establishing graph-based neural networks as a very useful strategy in the design and discovery of new materials with desirable high levels of performance for certain specific applications. Another useful graph-based AI method in computational materials science is the Slab Graph Convolutional Neural Network, or SGCNN. This is a neural network that is especially suited for predicting the efficiency of the nitrogen reduction reaction in catalysis, developed under the coordination of Dr. Sang Sahan and Dr. Donghun Kim of the Korea Institute of Science and Technology. The previously described CGCNN method in fact predicts the bulk properties of materials very well, but the disadvantage appears when one considers the case of surface properties, which become harder to predict. In order to address such a problem, a novel graph convolutional neural network of slab structures was specifically developed, thus making it possible to successfully predict the adsorption energy on the surface of a candidate catalyst material by entering only the characteristics and connectivity information of its constituent elements. This SGCNN approach furthermore proved to be flexible enough to be extended to other reactions, in addition to the nitrogen reduction reaction for which it was originally conceived. Let us now address more in detail the topic of the AI-based prediction of the adsorption energy of catalyst materials. Adsorption energy is in fact one of the most important factors for calculating the catalytic activity of a material. The absorption energy, given the surface of a certain catalyst material and its corresponding adsorbate, is defined as the energy difference when the adsorbate is adsorbed on the surface and then detached. Its value for any given material can be computed from first principles via DFT techniques for instance. Furthermore, given enough training data, it can be predicted also by constructing an AI model. For example, the SGCNN model introduced earlier is an artificial intelligence neural network that predicts the adsorption energy of a specific adsorbate in the nitrogen reduction reaction when the catalytic material structure and composition of the adsorption surface is inserted as input parameter. In particular, the adsorption energy can be calculated by finding a correlation between on one hand the surface electron density of states, or DOS, which changes according to the arrangement of atoms of the catalyst material within its absorbing surface, and on the other hand the chemical change that occurs upon adsorption of the adsorbate. Based on this concept, Bobby Sumter S. Research Group at Oak Ridge National Laboratory in the United States recently developed an AI network called DOSNet, which predicts the adsorption energy of various organic substances using the DOS of the three atoms closest to the adsorption site as input variables. The biggest advantage of this DOSNet approach, therefore, is that if you know the DOS of a specific catalyst surface, you can learn its corresponding adsorption energy model regardless of the type of adsorbate. In this research, adsorption energies of various monatomic adsorbates and hydrogenated molecules were predicted with very high accuracy, as demonstrated by the graphics shown in this slide. Let us now introduce the main cloud-based simulation scientific platform dedicated to research on catalyst materials developed by Virtual Lab, which is called Catalytic, and is distinct from the main general materials square platform introduced in the beginning of this presentation. The website of this catalytic platform, as shown in this slide, is https colon double forward slash katalytic.io. In particular, in the context of this presentation, we will briefly review the databases, which are used in the main catalytic AI module. For the DOS prediction functionalities provided as part of the catalytic platform, the new DOS database was constructed by calculating the locally projected density of states for about 21,500 surfaces of the catalytic material structures comprised in the Open Catalyst database, the largest of such databases for catalyst materials and their associated properties in the world. All such calculations were performed using the VASP DFT code by implementing consistent input computational parameters. The goal of the catalytic artificial intelligence model is to receive information on the DOS of the catalyst surface under consideration in the absence of adsorbates, and then use it to predict the adsorption energy in the presence of adsorbates. 
Hence, the final learning input consists of, firstly, the graph data in the presence of the adsorbate, secondly the locally projected density of states for the catalyst surface without adsorbate, and finally the adsorption energy of the adsorbate itself. Let us now delve into more detail on the underlying functioning of the catalytic AI module. When the slab type structure of the catalyst material surface under investigation is loaded in the module, it is treated as graph type data. In processing such graph type data, a processing method called GATGAN, which stands for Graph Attention Graph Neural Network, is used. Within this processing method, each atom is treated as a node, and up to 12 neighboring atoms located within a certain distance are treated as edges. The feature of each node consists of a one-hot vector of the eight atomic pieces of information presented in the CGCNN approach, namely the atomic family, atomic period, electronegativity, covalent bond radius, the number of electrons in the outermost shell, the ionization energy, the electron affinity, the area, and finally the atomic volume. The feature of each edge consists of a feature vector obtained by passing a Gaussian probability density function according to the distance between two nodes. The DOS prediction model is based on the so-called MAT2 spec model. The MAT2 spec model transforms structural data into graph data, and by labeling the spectral DOS, predictions on spectral type labels such as the total DOS are obtained through contrastive learning. A schematic summary of the DOS and adsorption energy prediction model used in the catalytic platform is portrayed on this slide. The viewer is referred to the catalytic official documentation contained on its website at katalytic.io for further technical information on the functioning of our AI engine and for trying out the use of our platform in general. So, how can the catalytic AI engine be employed to predict common catalytic chemical reactions? The oxygen evolution and the oxygen reduction reactions in catalysis are made up of adsorption reactions of three intermediate states, individual oxygen, OH atoms, and OOH. It is generally known that there is a scaling relationship between the OH and OOH adsorption energies. The scaling relationship according to the reaction energy is as shown in the equation on the present slide. Therefore, it is possible to obtain the predicted adsorption energy of the oxygen evolution reaction and oxygen reduction reaction through the individual O and OH adsorption energies. Under this AI model, the adsorption energies of these two adsorbits are consequently predicted as a starting point. We can also consider the alternative case of the carbon dioxide reduction reaction, which is generally employed to convert carbon dioxide into other useful compounds such as methane and methanol. In this case, the adsorption energy of the CO molecule is used as the main descriptor of catalytic activity and is therefore what is predicted under its corresponding AA model. This brings us to the conclusion of our presentation. Many thanks for your attention and we recommend once more to please give a try to our Materials Square online platform for executing atomistic materials and chemical computations directly on the cloud by visiting its website at www.materialsquare.com. Please do not hesitate to contact us by email, as shown here on this slide, in case you would like to obtain further information on the various R&D services and solutions that we provide at Virtual Lab. Many thanks again for your interest and your consideration.